Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys Target shopping with me for self-care stuff. I usually go to Target like once a month or like once every like six weeks or so just to like restock on all of my self-care stuff and since I'm already going today, I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along because that's usually what I always do. So yeah, and these Target videos are so much fun to film because Target is huge. Like there's so much more in there to look at and see and like they're always coming out with like new products and stuff and it's just so much fun so I'm about to head there right now I'll probably be there in about like 10 minutes and I haven't decided if we're gonna get Starbucks at Target or not maybe I shouldn't but I don't know all right you guys we are here it is eight on the dot all right we get here early because no one's gonna be here well hopefully actually so excited you know what guys I think we're gonna get Starbucks how could I not you know Can I just do a venti strawberry acai refresher, please? Um, with light ice and no inclusions. So apparently it's a dollar extra, well, a dollar and ten cents extra if you ask for light ice. What? Every single time I've gone to Starbucks, like, they don't charge me. I think that's really weird. All right, you guys, we are in the elf section and luckily they have the sunscreen dupe for the super goop one and I really, really want to try this. And look, they also have a powder puff. I really needed a new one, so we're definitely going to get this too. This is like the most stocked I've ever seen, like the elf section. That's crazy. The elf putty blush is also super good as well. And I also needed a new powder, so we're gonna pick this one up. I usually trust e.l.f. products a lot, so we're gonna see how this is on my skin. This Revolution blush is so cute. I wish they had a different shade in this though, because this is like too red for me. And their highlighters are beautiful. This is so pretty. This one is also so cute too. I definitely don't own any kind of highlighter with like a pink or a gold undertone. That's super fun. You guys already know that these are my favorite face masks. And I've actually never tried the brightening mask. So I think we're going to get this one. Luckily, it's the last one. So I'm really excited about this. And they also have these fun little shower steamers right here. They have a lemonade one, which I don't think will be that good and they also have lavender so i might get the lavender one just because that's really relaxing and coco kind also has this vegan mask stick i have no idea what this is and i've never seen these before these might be new actually but starface has these micro cloud um pimple patches obviously you guys know my opinions on starface it's definitely not my favorite but it's fine and they also have black star pimple patches. I just really wish these worked because they're so cute. And this packaging is so cute for this eye gel. I love this. So I really want to get heat protectant because recently I've been into like styling my hair and like curling it, straightening it. I'm doing it a lot more than I usually do. So I think heat protectant is definitely something I need. And since we're already here, we're going to pick up some hair ties because I'm always losing these. I really want to get a new like straightener or like something different to style my hair with but I think I actually might wait for TJ Maxx to do that. It's a 10 is definitely my favorite like hair brand. Well, it's up there. It's not my favorite but it's one of them. I always use the Miracle Leave-In product. That one is super good. It smells amazing. I also have one for blondes too which is super cool. I've never noticed this before but it's kind of dirty and the cap is not on. So I don't think so. And I'm constantly like spilling stuff on my shirt. So we're gonna pick up one of these and one of these. I'm gonna keep both of those in my bag. And they also have hems here. I had no idea. But I already have kind of a dupe of that from TJ Maxx, which is still pretty full. So I'm just gonna continue using that. I don't think I need a new lotion today. And this shave cream looks so good. I don't know, cloud shave foam. I love this. We're definitely gonna be getting this to try out. So there's people restocking by the body wash section, so we're just gonna go somewhere else for right now and see what else we can find because I don't want to like be in the way of anyone, you know? And I 
have never seen these before but target has a bunch of these like sectioning clips i got a comment saying where i got these from and these are almost identical to the ones i have and they also have cuter ones i really like these but i really needed a new shave oil so we're gonna pick one up i don't really know if i want watermelon or vanilla i used to have the rose one but i'm like out of it right now we might actually try out the vanilla because it looks a little more enticing than watermelon in my opinion and ever since i started using shave oil my skin has been so soft i don't know what it is but i'm just obsessed with it and i also really love the dr teal's body scrubs i've never seen this one though this is a, this is a rose essential oil this looks really cool but i think we're gonna get a new scrub i don't know which one i want to get though i remember smelling the blue lagoon one and this one smelled really good last time i'm gonna double check because what if it's like really bad now okay wait this really smells like laundry detergent if you guys know what this smells like you'll know what i mean and if you don't know what it smells like go to target and smell this and tell me it does not smell like laundry detergent what i thought that smelled really good last time Oh, I might be getting mixed up with this one because I used to have this one and this one was really good. This is the Exotic Bloom. Oh, okay. This one right here, the Desert Haze, smells amazing. We're definitely getting this. And you guys already know how much I love the French brand or Frenchy. I don't know how you say that. But this scent, Lavender Cloud, in the body wash is so good. Of course you guys know we're gonna be looking through the mini section right now. Sometimes you find something really fun in here, so we're gonna look. They have a mini size hemp's. This is so cute. I've never seen these in here. I mean, I might have actually. I just don't remember. But I'm not seeing anything too, too new in this mini section. There's another one kind of over there. So we're gonna go to that one. This smells so good. I love how it's the mini size and it's only $6 and there's still like a good amount of product, well, mist in here. And this scent smells amazing. And Verst also has these glow drops. I had no idea. This is like 18 bucks. I wonder if it's anything like the Drunk Elephant one. Well, I've never tried it, but the Lumi Glotion is what I use. And they also have their cleansing balm. When I run out of the one that I have already, I'm definitely going to get this because Verse cleansing balm is really good. You guys, I have been looking for Pacifica in this exact Target for so long and I didn't think they had the brand here. But it's been here the whole time and I had no idea. I have heard the best things about their eye patches. Emily Polici always recommends these and I've been wanting to try these but I've never found them. And I love Native's shampoo and conditioner and I always see that they have skincare. I've never tried anything on their skincare section. This facial cleanser looks kind of like the CeraVe one. It kind of reminds me of that. But let me know if you guys have tried any skincare related things from Native because I kind of want to try it out, but I don't know enough about it to like just buy a bunch of stuff. Why is heat protectant so expensive? This is almost 20 bucks for heat protectant. This one is from Raw Sugar. It is a little bit cheaper, so I think I might get this one, but the Sun Bum one also looks really good, so I don't know. Last time I filmed a self-care shopping video at Target, I got Pantene, and you guys flamed me for it. Like, I didn't know Pantene was that bad, so as soon as I got the comments that are saying, why are you using that? I'm like, okay. So I stopped using it. And I always need new razors, so we're gonna pick these ones up. I love these razors so much. Wait, you guys, this looks amazing. I don't know why, I'm such a sucker for good packaging and this looks so good. We're gonna put this one back and we're gonna pick up this one. I also recently got this too and I love this. And I was also gonna ask, would you guys be interested if I started like a little series on my channel where I post like full face of blank, so it'd be like full face of elf, full face of like, I don't know, like any kind of makeup brand that there is, like Charlotte Tilbury, I don't know, just any kind of brand. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that or not. It'll kind of be where I give you guys like my honest opinion of the makeup and how it looks on my skin so you know just let me know if you guys are interested and i don't know about you guys but i could be completely wrong but i remember these being 14 dollars. i don't remember the pixie blushes and bronzers ever being 18. i've always wanted to try it though the bronzer looks really cool i wanted to try the blush more though oh it's right here the colors aren't that cute i wanted the pink one but it doesn't really look like they have it and pixie also came out with blemish stickers too I feel as though every single brand is coming out with like 
Mighty Patches, like a knockoff Mighty Patch. And they also have some fun lip masks as well to try. There was this one lip mask that I really wanted to get, but I don't know where it is. I don't think they have it. It's okay. But you guys, I saw this T-Zone mask. Never seen this before in my life. I didn't even know like things like this existed. For acne and oil control. I definitely don't need this because my skin is the opposite of oily right now. But that's still really fun to know. And I also tried the bath cloth as well from Eco Tools. They it worked, but <laughs> like I felt like it exfoliated too much. It is about time. Now we're gonna find a body wash. Everyone tells me to get method. And the thing is with method is that they smell phenomenal, but it just it makes me smell bad by the end of the day. I don't know what it is. But this smells so good. I don't know if I want to try it again because then I don't want to waste the money if I already know it might not work. I always make it a point to get a body wash, a different body wash scent each time. So which one for today? I have no idea. Native Sweet Peach and Nectar. I might have smelled this one before. I don't remember though. Ooh, this smells so good. This smells amazing. We might get this one. I want to smell a few more though, just to be sure that this is the one I want to get. You know, I might even get two, who knows. It's so actually the body wash I used to stick to for the longest amount of time. I really still like it a lot. I think the main reason I like this though is because their packaging is so pretty. I just love this. And also going back to Native, they usually have like these like candy body washes. They always looked really gross to me because like who would want to wash their body with gummy bear? But we're gonna smell it, because what if I'm wrong? Okay, <laughs> I I guess I am wrong. That doesn't smell terrible, actually. I was expecting that to be disgusting. I just smelled this. This one smells really good. This is the Night Recovery Body Polish. I don't really know the difference between like a body scrub and a body polish. They might just be the same thing and they just wanted to be like cool and give it a different name. And another good shave cream recommendation for you guys is the Cremo one. This is really good. This always leaves my skin feeling super soft, but they also have a, I don't remember what it was, but it was an orange one. I don't remember what the orange one was, but I like that one better than the lavender. All right, now we're taking a break from the self-care shopping. We're gonna go get some gum real quick. Every time I come in here, I forget to get gum. So I'm always going to the gas station, spending like $3, $2 on a pack of gum for one, when I can get like three for like three bucks, you know? I also do need Celsius's. Celsius's? What's the plural for Celsius? I know this is kind of irrelevant to the video, but do you guys prefer peppermint or spearmint more? I prefer spearmint, but apparently peppermint is better. We're just gonna get peppermint. One of my coworkers gave me so much crap for, for chewing on spearmint gum. I don't really know. I feel like a lot of people hate on spearmint. I personally love it, but whatever. And you guys already know we have to get grape, obviously. I cannot even get it. All right, you guys, I think we are done in here. We're gonna go pay real quick. And when I get home, I'm gonna show you guys a haul. I have my huge Target bag. And this is definitely one of my favorite Target videos so far. I got so much good stuff. And luckily there was like barely anyone in the store. Probably because I went right at like eight o'clock in the morning and like it's a Saturday morning. Who's gonna wanna do that besides from me? But I'm gonna go to work, I'm gonna go home. And then after that, I will show you guys a haul. All right, you guys, I am back from work. I have a Target haul to show you. Sorry if I look a little bit busted up right now. I just got off of work and I'm about to head to the gym. But of course I wanted to film the whole part of this video. So let's get into it, shall we? First thing I got is razors, super basic. We're just gonna get that out of the way. I got the tie to go pen. I feel like I'm always spilling stuff like all over my shirts and jackets and stuff. So I got that to bring around with me because I know it's definitely gonna happen a lot more. I also got the Pacifica under eye patches. I got the Native uh, Sweet Peach and Nectar body wash. This smells phenomenal. I'm so excited to use this tonight. I got some shave oil. I've been really into using shave oil recently. I got some hair ties. I usually get the black ones, but today I decided to get the blonde ones because my hair is blonde. Got another Loops face mask. You guys know I've been 
been loving these recently and I got the brightening one. I've never tried that one before and I think it'd be fun to do like another self-care night video where I try on this mask and these under eye patches and just kind of have like a whole spa night. I got these. This is like another stain removing thing. I don't really know. I just saw it and I thought it was cool so I got it. I got the Desert Haze uh, body scrub from Tree Hut. This smells so good you guys. I don't know what it is but... This just, I think this is the best scrub I've ever smelled from Tree Hut. Got some toothpaste, of course. I got a big pack of gum because I'm always buying new gum. I think it'd be a lot more cost effective to just buy the whole eight pack. This, I cannot wait to try. This is the e.l.f new Suntouchable Super Goop sunscreen dupe. And I honestly didn't need a new sunscreen because I already have like, a decent amount but this was like too good not to try i'm so excited to see if it actually reminds me of the super goop one but the only difference is is that this is an spf 30 and the super goop i believe is 40. so i also got this whipped shave cream this oh my god i feel like i'm excited to try all of these things to be honest but tell me you guys would not pick this up and buy it like this packaging is so cool and it's a jasmine scent i actually did not smell this so hopefully it actually does smell good this smells really good yeah, I really like the smell of this. I also got a shower steamer. I don't really- I've already used a couple of these. They don't really work the best. They only like last for a couple minutes, but it's still kind of fun to buy every now and then. The raw sugar um, heat protectant because like I said, I've been blow drying and styling my hair a lot with heat. So I think heat protectant is definitely going to be beneficial there. This was really, really random. I don't even know why I picked this up, but this is a body mist. This smells really good too. I mean, obviously everything does or I wouldn't have bought it, but this kind of reminds me of like Hollister almost. I don't know, like the store Hollister. Two of my favorite energy drinks, the Celsius. I had to get the grape because anything grape flavor is, I am all in. I love grape. It's one of like the weird things about me because everyone gives me hate for liking grape, but to me, it's really good. And the final two things I got were two makeup related items. I got the powder puff from e.l.f. I had no idea I would find this today. This has always been one of those things that I've like tried to look for and like never found and I just kind of gave up. But I'm so surprised my target was like fully stocked in e.l.f. stuff today. And then I'm also going to be trying out this HD powder in sheer. So I think it might be like a translucent kind of powder. The one that I have right now is from Revolution. I got this from TJ Maxx in my video and... I don't know why, I don't really like it that much. Like, it's fine, but it's definitely, like, there's something about it I don't like. But yeah, that marks the end of today's video. I had so much fun. Like I said, this was my favorite Target haul of all time. Everything I got was just so perfect. I'm so excited to use everything tonight. And I also go self-care shopping once a month or so at Target to pick up, you know, restocks and things like that and try out new stuff. So, of course, I'm gonna record it for you guys because I know you guys really like these videos too. But yeah, like I said, that concludes today's video. Thank Thank you guys so much for subscribing and supporting me and just commenting and showing your love towards me and my channel because I really appreciate it. It makes me so happy and I always want to, you know, say thank you and always remind you guys that I am so grateful for everything that you guys do. Anyways, my camera is about to die so I'm going to end the video right here and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!